now four days away from finding out who Americans have been voting for. This is a live look across our nation's capital this morning as the sun comes up there in Washington, D.C. Presidential candidates have pretty much been everywhere except D.C. as they make that final push for votes this week. Joe Biden will be campaigning here in Des Moines today. KCCI's Tommy Clark is live with a look at how he's visiting Iowa for the first time since our caucuses. Tommy. As a key swing state, Joe Biden and President Trump are both fighting for Iowa. Of course, you said he hasn't been here since caucuses, and they both really want to get to as many Iowans as possible in the four days leading up to Election Day. It's getting so close. So yesterday, both of them were in Florida campaigning. They had dueling rallies just hours apart. They clashed over the economy, which Trump has touted as one of his strengths. Biden continued to criticize Trump's coronavirus response, while the president says the nation is rounding the curve on COVID-19 despite rising cases around the country. I'm running against the worst candidate in the history of presidential politics. And Donald Trump has waved the white flag, abandoned our families and surrendered to the virus. Let's face it, Sleepy Joe is shot. And I'm not a fan of his, and he's not a nice guy. He knows when America votes, they reject people like him. Now, Biden's event today will be a drive-in rally in Des Moines. There, he'll encourage Iowans to vote. The campaign has not yet released the time or location. Sources say the president will make another stop in Iowa in Dubuque on Sunday. We'll keep you updated, but for now, live in Des Moines, I'm Tommy Clark, KCCI News, Iowa's News Leader. Thanks, Tommy, and it is a tight race for president here in Iowa. The latest Quinnipiac University poll shows Joe Biden is neck and neck with President Trump. 47% of likely voters say they support President Trump. 46% chose Biden. The poll is within its 2.8% margin of error.